In those sort of darkest hours when you didn't have a home, when you were with your dad, you were living in a car, you know, it, in probably freezing temperatures since you were in Alaska for a lot of this. I was in I, San Diego for the whole Oh, thank part. God, because yeah. yeah. it wasn't couldn't imagine, couldn't <laughs> yeah. imagine being in the cold. When you were in those sort of darkest moments, did you think, you know, what's the point of trying? Um, I moved out when I was 15. I knew statistically that what would happen to me would be repeating the past. I knew statistically girls that move out at 15 of abusive households end up with abusive partners, doing drugs, being pregnant. You know, I knew statistically that's what would happen to me. And for me not to be a statistical, and you know, I would have to change myself. I would have to learn how not, I'd have to relearn what I called an emotional language. So I was raised speaking English in my household. You can say, I hate English, I'm gonna grow up never speak English. But unless you learn a new language, you're gonna speak English. And that's how emotional habits are. So as much as you can say, I was abused as a child, I don't wanna abuse my child. Probably when you get forced in, situ in situ certain situations, you're gonna do what you were taught. It's why the cycles repeat themselves. I knew I had to relearn new things. And so I started a what I called my happiness project when I was 15 of like, how am I gonna learn to be a new way? What do happy people do? How do other people behave? What are other ways of being? And that takes a lot of discipline. It takes a lot of focus, a lot of reading on my part. By the time I was homeless, I was crippled by agoraphobia, which is hard when you don't have a home. But in my car, like, I was afraid if I left my car, I would you know, be stricken with illness. And I really realized I was going to succumb unless I learned how to control my fear. And I really focused on how to do that and how to change my thoughts. And it started like with daily, like learning how to change my fear into excitement and into enthusiasm. And that's how I started to work myself out of my car. And I was writing about it. And I started singing in front of people and telling them my worst fears. And then my life changed because I started letting people. To you. I felt a less alone for the first time because I let myself be seen really for the first time, all my good, bad, and ugly. And people accepted me because they felt seen because we all are the same.